What's going on everybody? It's Medicosis Perfectionitis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our physiology playlist. In the last video, we talked about the activation of the T lymphocyte. Today, it's time to discuss the activation of the B lymphocyte. Its activation is also known as class switching. Before activation, your B lymphocytes can only secrete IgM and IgD. But after they get activated and they class switch, they will switch these antibodies from the old ones into the new ones, such as IgA, IgG, and IgE. So, in the good old days, B lymphocytes were as naive as a doofus doctor. But once they got activated, they get seasoned. And they will start to impart their wisdom all over the place. This is my physiology playlist. Please watch these videos in order. Do you remember the sequence of events? Yes, we start with lymphoid stem cells, which will give us B lymphocytes. The B lymphocytes, when they mature and they get activated, they will become plasma cells, which secrete antibodies. When they mature, they can secrete everything, but before maturation, they were so naive, only M and D. The structure and function of antibodies was discussed in previous videos. Let's review this very quickly. Bacteria has invaded your body. That is foreign to you. I'll take a piece of the bacteria called an antigen. And then the antigen presenting cell is going to present the antigen to the lymphocyte. They present the antigen on a tray known as the MHC. You want to be a tracer. I'm already tracer. Present it to whom? To the lymphocyte. When the lymphocyte recognizes the antigen, she will mature. To destroy the microbe, or if this is a helper T lymphocyte, it's going to help the neighbor, the B lymphocyte, to mature and grow up to become plasma cells, which can secrete all kinds of antibodies. Moreover, when these lymphocytes mature and grow up, they will also become memory cells, so that the second exposure to the same bacteria is going to be faster and stronger. Hemoral immunity, why it's called hemoral? Because we're secreting antibodies into bodily fluids such as the serum, mucous membrane, etc. B lymphocytes, all right. They are made in the bone marrow. They mature in the bone marrow. That's why we call them B. And then after the primary response, they will start to mature to become memory B cells so that the second response is going to be stronger and faster or to become plasma cells which will secrete antibodies into bodily fluids. Don't forget that the CD4 T helper cell will help the B lymphocyte mature. And when the B lymphocyte matures, it changes from a naive cell that only can make IgM and IgD into a mature cell that can secrete all kinds of antibodies, including IgA, IgG, and IgE. And that's why you see IgM with the primary response, but IgG with the secondary response, because the IgM was originally there on the naive B cells. But when they mature, yeah, you get seasoned. You have the IgG as well. The functions of all of these antibodies were discussed before. Now, what is class switching? Class switching is the phenomenon of changing the B lymphocytes from naive to mature from a cell that can only play with IgM and IgD into a cell that can play with anything, especially IgA, IgG, and IgE. And that's how the B lymphocytes mature from a naive physician into a seasoned person. This reminds me of the godfather Kevin Samuels when he plays with the soundboard to produce the following sound. Quote, I'm a PhD. I'm a PhD. The P lymphocyte disagrees because the B lymphocyte was, I'm an MD, I'm an MD. Still naive though. You need to mature, recognize the antigen and grow the French toast up. Oh my God, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. In the previous video, we discussed the T cell activation. Antigen presenting cell, T lymphocyte. How does it get activated? If it's CD4, it will interact with MHC2. But if it's CD8, it will interact with MHC class 1. And then you have CD28 with the AT86. Now let's activate the B lymphocyte. Here's the B lymphocyte on the receiving end. And here is the T helper lymphocyte on the giving end because the T helper is gonna help her neighbor get active and grow up and mature and recognize the antigen. Where is the antigen? This green dot right here. Okay, 
This is a T lymphocyte, right? Therefore, it has a T cell receptor. Thank you. This is CD4, which interacts with MHC2. And we also have CD4T ligand on the T lymphocyte, CD4T receptor on the B lymphocyte. T cell receptor is here, CD4T receptor is here. Why are we doing this to activate the B lymphocyte from a naive I'm an MD into a robust high value Thanos that can produce all kinds of antibodies? And this was the story of class switching. But how does the B lymphocyte secrete all of these antibodies? Well, it does it by VDJ recombination. VJ are in the light chain, VDJ are in the heavy chain, and the B lymphocyte will keep shuffling and reshuffling and jiggling all of these genes together, and then when you translate the genes, you get what? Proteins. And that's how you develop antibody diversity. If you like this video, you will enjoy my anti-cancer pharmacology course on my website, medicosisperfectionalis.com. I also have an acid-base imbalance course. Learn about the HAGMA, the NAGMA, the stool osmotic gap, the serum anion gap, all kinds of gaps. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.